is McDavid Typewriter Service, one of the coolest local gyms here in Jacksonville, Florida, and it's filled with all kinds of vintage and antique typewriters, as well as a lovely gentleman named Bill who's owned the shop since around the 50s. I gotta say, it's amazing that a place like this has survived through the digital age, but there's something to be said about a physical piece of paper and touching those keys. Where are we? The typewriter shop. <laughs> McDavid's typewriter shop, and she brought her typewriter all the way from Ohio to get a new ribbon. Oops. <laughs> See, I'm white cutting with one finger. <laughs> so this, sir, is all the letters of the alphabet? Yeah. Peak my box with pack five. My oh, it is pack, pack my box yeah. with five dozen liquor jugs. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. Jacksonville, and I started working with the typewriters and with Jacksonville typewriter in 55, part-time. And then once I got out of high school, I got out of college, I just stayed right, I love typewriter, so I just stayed right in it. And I've been in it ever since. That's amazing. Yeah. And you know so much about all these typewriters here, and you were telling us about this one here. Yeah. So this one was a typewriter for the First World War. Yeah, yeah they used that in the First World War. And what was special about it, you were saying? It, it, it was folded and you could carry it with you, you know, when you went to the field. That's just amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. And your name's Bill? Bill Pridgen, right. Uh -huh. And you own this lovely shop. Yeah, right. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So not only did Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage get a new ribbon, I got to pick out my very own Oliver typewriter. And this is a little footage of us getting to tour the back room where all the typewriters are fixed. I didn't even know that we'd get to go back here. Bill was just so lovely letting us walk around and shop for typewriters and check out all of these little drawers. Oh my gosh, this was pure heaven for an industrial cabinet nerd like myself. Look at all the typewriters lined up and all the little things they have to repair them. I gotta say, typewriters are fairly complicated and all the things that they need, the belts and the ribbons, and look at these little cupboards. Oh my gosh, how amazing to be able to pull open those drawers and get all the parts you need to repair a typewriter. Oh, I loved every moment of this. <laughs>
have always wanted an Oliver typewriter. And you're probably asking yourself, why Oliver when there are so many other cool typewriters? Well, there are. I could choose a cool mid-century typewriter in a neat color. I could get a little portable typewriter from World War I. I could even get an antique Remington typewriter. But I've always been drawn to Oliver because of their history. See, back then, most typewriters, or probably all typewriters, were blind typewriters, meaning that you couldn't see what you were typing in real time. But a minister named Thomas Oliver actually changed the game and invented a typewriter where you could see what you were typing in real time by inventing a U-shaped bar, which acted as a downstrike onto the typewriter ribbon, allowing typists to see what they were typing in real time. And I think that is so cool. So I've always wanted an Oliver. I've never been able to find one. And it was just the most magical day coming in to get a ribbon for Cindy and discovering that this gentleman had many Oliver typewriters that I could pick from and actually buy. And now I am the proud owner of an Oliver typewriter and I could not be more thrilled. So that's it for this video, folks. I hope you'll go check out Cindy over at Mimi's Treasure Cottage. She's got some great videos from our shopping experience here in Jacksonville. And of course, before my next video, I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always, folks, you will stay in, stay safe, and then YouTube. Bye-bye now.